Now, the secret to make a wider reel these days is details, and one of the biggest trends right now I would say is the glowing boxes. From charts to text animation and UI design, these glowing elements are everywhere. But how do you make them? In this video, I will break it all down and show you exactly how to create these stunning effects in Adobe After Effects. This is the only tutorial you need to master this trend on YouTube. So let's start. So here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. So the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to go towards the rectangle tool and we're going to draw a rectangle like this. So here's going to be our base shape. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to increase the roundness. So we're just going to have a rounded rectangle like this. Now on the next step, what we need to do is that we need to sort of make the base color for our rectangle. Well, to do that, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to click on fill options in here and I'm going to change it to radial color. And then I'm just going to drag this slider to have a color like this. All right, this is good. And this is going to be our base. Okay, this is good. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to call it the edge light. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add this CC light sweep effect. So this effect is super good. Now, on the first step, what I need to do is that I'm just going to set the center to actually the center of the rectangle. And then what I'm going to do on the next step is that I'm just going to turn down the sweep intensity. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to increase the width. So as you see now the edges, we will have this nice rounded shape. And then what I need to do is that I'm just going to set the width, for example, to 200. And then I'm just going to increase the edge thickness to 6. And let's just set the intensity on, mm, let's say, on 70% as well. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to click on duration. And I'm going to animate it for one entire rotation. So this is going to be one entire rotation. So now, as you see, we have a nice animated uh, line uh, for our box, but however, we want to add a, a sort of a deep glow effect to it. So if I now add a deep glow effect, as you see, it will affect everything. Well, to fix that problem, all you need to do is that you need to change the light uh, reception from add to cut out. So this will just sort of uh, save the light and remove the background. And now we have this light and I'm going to change this color to something like a pinkish color like this. So now we will have this color, which is quite nice. Now, if you see, we have some, you know, distortion or edges in here. You can change the parameters for the width and this will fix the issue that you have in here. So this is going to be something like this, but I'm just going to set it on 80 for now. I think this will be good. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do on the next step is that I just want to design a border for my rectangle. Well, to do that, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select the base. I'm going to right click on it in layer styles. I'm just going to select the inner glow. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to open the inner glow in here. And then I'm just going to increase the size to something like this. Great. Now we will have a nice border around our shape as well. So this is super nice and you can change its color in here. But right now I feel like this is just good and you can just um, decrease the range also and increase the choke a little bit to make it better. So now we will have this nice rounded, you know, stroke around our shape. Now on the next step, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to duplicate this layer one more time and I'm going to call it shadow. And the important thing is that we need to go towards the layer cells and we need to remove it. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select the shadow and then I'm just going to go towards my pen tool. And then with the mask tool selected, this is really important. I'm just going to draw a sort of shape like this. So it's going to be our shape. So as you see, it's like this. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add a fill effect so we can see it better. And then I'm just going to increase it like this. 
So now I just need to, you know, fix the mask a bit. Right now it doesn't really look good. I'm just gonna fix it quickly. So this is going to be the mask. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna use the purple color, but I'm gonna change the shade to something a bit darker. Great. So now as you see, we have a nice shading in here. And then I'm just gonna add a noise to the shape and I'm gonna set it on 10%. So now our box sort of has the nice, um, I would say, noise. All right, so far, this is great. Now for the last step, what we need to do is that we need to add sort of some point lights to make it even better. Well, to do that, what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna go towards the circle tool and I'm gonna just uh, select a solid fill and I'm gonna create a circle like this. And then I'm just gonna call them spotlight. And then I'm just gonna use the track mat and I'm gonna track mat it to base. However, I'm just gonna rebuild the base so we will have something like this. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna add a fast box blur effect and let's just set the blurness to 25 and on the last step I'm just gonna change its mode to classic color dodge. So now we will have an effect like this. Now we can just change its color if we want to make it something that fits our design. So I will say like this might be good. I'm gonna set it on here, but I, I think this the pinkish color is still good. And I'm gonna set one in here, and you can just change one in there as well. So then, here's the final animation, and I hope you have liked this video. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, as it would help me out a lot for future content. Thank you so much. Goodbye.